because from the starting of the career itself i have an interest in the chip designing especially the uh, design and verification domain and also i love to deal with the semiconductors and what are the challenges and all so that is the main reason that i have chose uh, to become an engineer instead of going into the different different fields ever wondered who is bending the rules of physics yeah that's where we engineers stand if you are limitless and you want to don't want to play safe then you have to become an engineer because we don't play safe where you think that what if we go for why not so that motivates me for being limitless and we like freedom so we are becoming engineers that's where an engineer stands and that's where i am so i am happy with it convergence of technologies has made engineering touch every part of our daily life and has made engineers the most essential ingredient for every person on this earth engineers rock this world now engineering is uh, inspired by nature okay nature we can observe many uh, living objects so we can learn many things uh, each involve is uh, either it is uh, walking running anything any aspect you see it's a engineering marvel okay so we can learn many things and engineering is all about mimicking those things and make our life easier simpler and uh, making it happier for me it was challenge of solving complex problems engineering offered the correct blend of creativity and logic my inspiration came from the impact of technology on everyday life that's why i wanted to be a part of this transformation i always been fascinated by how things work and i love problem solving since engineering excites me more because it allows me to turn creative ideas into practical solutions whether it's developing existing technologies or trying new ways to build new technologies during my school days i saw a quote say engineers don't just build things they build future i fell in love with that quote and i have set my goal to become an engineer 6 years later now i am standing here as a verification engineer in this company what motivates me to be a semiconductor engineer or a vlsi front end engineer is the day to day activity where we are always challenged to learn new things to learn new protocols to learn about new softwares and updated update our skills for our day to day work as well there has to be some incentive for us to do learnings and everything that is always there But yeah, it's a challenging day. It's a challenging life, and we enjoy the challenges. Thank you. So modern lifestyles these days uh, revolutionized by the all the engineering efforts. Uh, the way today we see the the satellite communications, uh, which around the orbit, uh, and also the the electronic gadgets powered up by the small VLSI chips. All these comes from the. different uh, engineering and they are uh, striving through the modernizing the technologies uh, for me to be an engineer the inspiration was uh, from my childhood i have seen uh, different different kind of monuments and different bridges connecting different cities and also uh, uh, different uh, uh, the engineering efforts in the medical helplines to support the dif- uh, different diseases so these were these are all inspired to me i feel a proud uh, to be an engineer uh, the engineers mostly will make our all our life so easier from a childhood i'm having passion of solving complex real world problems and uh, engineering has uh, been a field of i mean a platform for me in which i have i mean such opportunities to solve real world problems and uh, in the past uh, i have i mean executed those things very well like developing smart air system for uh, diagnosing leukemia and many such systems that make us human life better so uh, my primary motivation of becoming an engineer uh, was to see and observe how the machinery works whether it is a small machine in a car or a bike or a big machines like we see in the jcb or the big bang of machines that are used in construction and other fields so and uh, also i have worked uh, i have worked in the ai field also uh, regarding the pre treatment of uh, various uh, uh, diseases like uh, diabetes cancer etc 
when I actually decided in my life to become an engineer. So it's a story when I was in standard three back in 2003. When my uncle was doing ITI course uh, and uh, I used to refer or look at when he was working on different circuitries for motors, for generators, for transformers, I was too fascinated about that part. Once he finished that uh, uh, course in 2004 and uh, started get, uh, got into business, later I started doing such sort of things like opening up toys, uh, playing up with motors, building some things and when I was in standard 5th, I won a competition when I built a device for uh, uh, called as ultrasonic insect repellent circuit that was using just basic stuff from the toys and built that. That made me, you know, decide to you know, become an engineer later in my life. Further, uh, after after I completed my uh, bachelor's and started my job, within nine months of completion of job, I start decided to start my own venture, which was into technology development. But uh, as soon as I uh, I was building that business, uh, I turned into a business person, like mostly dealing with meetings, connecting with clients. And after a few months, I decided this is not something my cup of tea. And I turned myself back into an engineering profile. This is something back in 2019. And now if I talk about, uh, you know, why I feel good about engineering, it's all about my course I have chosen during my engineering, that is mechatronics where I include mechanical, electronics, as well as software. And that makes me understand technology in a wide manner and uh, develop solutions in a, you know, in a very efficient way. So there have been several events like that in my life, which actually made me you know, become an engineer. Now, right now I am, and I feel really proud of it. From a very senior person, I get to hear that uh, there are two prospects which one engineer should be having. One is knowledge from multiple domain and the second one is ego. This is what make any engineer to you know build any things, cross any boundaries and come out with engineering solutions that changes the world. So thank you to all the engineers across the globe and happy engineers day. 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 Happy Engineers Day to you all.